Hey guys, I'm Zach, and I'm in the driver's seat. And I'm Juliana, and I'm in the back seat. This is Alien Isolation, and we're doing it wrong. Uh, we just got away from the dudes. It was a spooky, creepy alien thing that way. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I'm gonna try and... Hold the fact. Try and, uh, find a data cell to make the door hacker doodad work. And bet. Device invalid. Oh, because the thing is broken. I have the tool I need to make that work, but <clears throat> it His doesn't work. work. Oh. What? There's a shadow movement. <clears throat> oh, it's just something outside. Okay. Like a, yeah, that thing. Okay. <sighs> this is how you know Julian is paying attention. Hold on, the shadow's moved! <clears throat> God, I hate that those are proximity triggered. Cause if you get even too close to it, then you're not expecting it. It's just like, oh God, what's happening? I think you're gonna have to go into the thing. <clears throat> have to go into the thing. Ah. Uh, I don't want to go into the thing. With the thing. That just seems like a bad idea. That just seems like the worst idea. That's what I have to do. God, fucking no. Okay, well. Oh darn! I can't go that way. Ooh, oh, that's what we fucking want. I got the boomstick. Yay! Mm. Oh, key card. Ooh, so <clears throat> Oh shit. He did. That guy deserved it. Okay. Yeah. So that yeah. dude's like hella dead. He was A search, get it over with. But he, he was shoosted to death. Oh god. The flight recorder. Oh dear. What? What? It got wiped. Well, shit. Stay focused. Unauthorized access detected. Security lockdown initiated. Please wait for security check. Okay. What is this? What you can hide behind them. Oh, it gives me access to spots. It blocks off access to others. Grab the thing that was slowly behind me. Oh. Data cell! Cool. Okay. You got to do every one of them. Oh, yeah. Wrong way. What? Do I not want to go in here? No. 
Why? You wanna, you wanna open that other door because you're still in lockout mode. happened in the movie. Huh. I'm trying to remember if Ripley wiped the core. It's been a really long time since I've seen Alien. Is there anything in oh, book? Oh! I mean, this is this is kind of a treasure trove, so I'm like, well, we're there here. Is, there is kind of a lot here. Uh, we're kind of doing that. Yeah. <laughs> Alien is very primal. Mm. Like, yes, it's very intelligent. Yes, it's very intelligent, but it's primally intelligent, if that makes any sense. Did that make sense? Sort of. Okay. Let's see if we can break down this one. Whilst we are here. It's eventually a very, it's essentially a very smart animal. Sebastolink to W Chief Porter are a Sebastopol terminals. <laughs> Chief, the good news is that I'm about 80% through archiving Sebastopol's internal mail system for the decommissioning. It's been disconnected from Apollo, but I've left the basic messaging system in place for the people still here. The bad news is whoever set up set it up in the first place skimped on the hardware and we've had some leaks. I've got Mike Tanaka looking into it now. He's the specialist archivist we called in seems to know his shit just thought I'd better give you the heads up in the meantime an outpost of progress number one Sevastopol an outpost of progress by Julia Jones desolation through isolation the space station that nobody needed run by a company we all forgot Sevastopol is now a backwater the population is a tenth of the station's optimal capacity docking bays are empty and the shutters are down on local stores and businesses the orders of Siegson's cheaply manufactured androids have long since dried up, and the antiquated Apollo governing AI system frequently malfunctions. How did we get here, and more importantly, where have billions of dollars of investment gone? My name is Julia Jones. I have lived on Sevastopol for two months compiling this report for the Colonial Times. Discovering the price of our second tier corporations have paid for the overexpansion. Discovering the price, our second-tier corporations have paid for their overexpansion during the race into the Outer Rim. Ah, there we go. Oh, shit. Hi. I have no control right now. Control, I assume. No, thank you. Okay. Uh... Yeah, you 
you do your thing. We'll turn the security lockdown off. Okay. Um. Am I just hiding somewhere? But you know, that's me. Oh, I still have shit to do. So. Now is when going through vents is good. That makes four this one. Right! Right! Don't go too bad. Or too much too bad. Maybe they can smaller there. I yes. Please order more of above. Now I'm freaking out over moving shadows. I did that early, so I'm like, and it's timed. Okay, we're good. It is not a sustained and creeping shadow. Yes. Sustained and creeping ones again. The right ones are there's just there. So I learned something interesting about this game, and it's it's it has to do with the artificial intelligence behind the alien. It has two different AIs. One of which is fairly basic, one that can hear you, see you, sense you, sense you that sort of thing. One that actually depends on you being there to know you're there. I suggest you die. There's also a second one that knows where you are at all times and is feeding clues. and is giving hints to the first one. But I've heard that the second one doesn't kick in until a bit later in the game, or at least until you first, like, directly. No. Don't take me! Don't take me, please! Okay. The first time you, like, directly confront the alien, and I'm afraid that that was it. I hear it slithering. Okay, well, I'm just gonna try and... This is where I need to go. And I'm here, so I'm gonna do it as best I can, as quickly as... Okay, there's that. Uh, I need that one, and then F that one, and then C. that one. Close, 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 hit the door, hit the door, door. 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 It's an elevator. Ooh. A hunt begins. Ooh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Visitors.
workers must report to reception. Oh, now we got a working Joe to deal with. Lovely. Hello? My name's Ripley. Amanda Ripley. I need your help. Please take a seat. Someone will be with you shortly. No wonder Seatson is losing the tech race. Huh. <laughs> Basically, well, fuck you too. You can trust our are those Joe. real people or? Always Those are working jobs. Okay, that's why I was like, oh. Look, he's still working. No emotional simulations. No light real qualities. They just work for you. So you can get on with your life in perfect peace of mind. Working shows. Brilliantly simple. And simply brilliant. Nope. Motion tracker. Some kind of tracker. It's been modified. That's gonna be handy as shit. Are you lost? No, no problem. That's fucking handy. But if you noticed, it makes noise. Yes. Error. Hughes, I've put a manual lock on the door leading upstairs. I don't want any accidents till we figure out what's going on here. Chief. Bad path. Okay. Our manifesto, first published in Eye of Siegson, February 2115. We don't want you to show... We don't want to show you a new world. We want to discover it with you. Here at Siegson, every new technology, research project, and discovery is driven to find real-world applications to help you. We hope you'll join us for the journey. Mm. Tomorrow, together! Together tomorrow, Siegson's journey into colonial space on... Official History by Sebastian Sieg, first printed in Eye of on Siegson. Our origins in space. In 2030, 2034 changed everything. The advent of faster than light travel put Siegson, then known as Sieg and Sun, on the path to success. The race into space began the, in earnest under the steady hand of our founder, Josiah Sieg. Our company was primed and ready for the years that followed. Sieg and Sun built the components that enabled ships to extend colonial space beyond the soul system. As history relates, Wayland Corp was re re reluctant to share its FTL technologies with our other corporations. Fortunately, Josiah Sieg was on hand to speculate, innovative, innovate, and produce. Without Sieg and Son, the skies would have looked very different indeed. Interesting. Marie, if you get this, I'm making my way to Siegson Communications now. I didn't want to wake you because I knew you'd try and stop me. I know this is an audio thing, but it's honestly faster just to read it. Please understand, this was our best shot. Someone's got to reestablish communications. We need to make sure the officials back at home know what's going on here. Don't worry about me. I'll be back. I'm not going to leave you and Claire alone. Well, that's sad. Door access. Cool. Ooh, there's a rewire. Oh, right. This is the other room that I Oh, wait, there's a green thing right there. No, oh, so there is. She'd catch me. Okay. I hear the save point. So with that, we're going to leave this here. So thank you guys, as always, for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and leave us a comment down below letting us know if we're doing it wrong. Catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Little.